Hello everybody and welcome back to Oakfield Farm. So today we're going to be super busy with the bale wrapping but also very busy with the spraying as well. Although I don't want to spray in the rain, we're going to have to. Sorry, I won't start loading these things up the wrong way. Um, yes, we're going to get as many bales wrapped as possible first, then when the rain moves in, which is imminent, we will uh, spend our time doing the spraying in field number 34. Once that is done, the spraying for the arable fields is completed. However, the grass fields do need to be done as well at some point, but there is no rush. So fields number 16, 8 and 10 do need to have one more application of fertiliser. But yeah, as I say, no rush. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't even know if we're going to have enough grass for a third cut. We should do, hopefully by the end of autumn, late autumn. But it's really going to depend on uh, how fast it grows. Technically it should be pretty fast. This is quite a slow job, quite a satisfying job though as well. Oh, I tried to load it up the correct way, but I have failed. Uh, well, I'll keep at it, I'll try and load them up the correct way. And you know what? I think I have to start off with a time lapse. Okay, so there we go. Pretty much everything is done. Um, you will notice that some haven't been done. The reason for this is because they need to stay as grass for the time being. In fact, probably um, forever until they're used. Because I have just realised that we don't have any food for the cows as such. We need to give them grass and we also need to give the, uh, the sheep some grass as well at some point. They can also have hay, but the cows do require grass and hay. So um, I think grass bales here are going to be the best solution to that. So I better stop. I can't really continue to wrap them as wrapping them will convert them to a silage bale over the course of a few days. So yeah there we go, that's the final bale. Obviously if we do find out we have too many grass bales here we can wrap them but I think I've only left about four or five so we really shouldn't do. Uh, let's fold that up, yeah we're going to have to return back and I'm really worried it's going to start to pour with rain soon. But at least the wrapping is done, it's just we do need to get those grass bales inside. Now the best trailer for this is the Richard Weston, as they're still pretty big bales, but there is a possibility that the Land Rover trailer is going to be enough. Um, and the only reason why I'm using it really is because I absolutely love the Land Rover and the trailer, and although I do have jobs lined up for it, I'm kind of desperate to use it now, just because of the quality. Um, so yes, we're going to have to uh, give it a go at least. It's going to be used mainly for wool pallet selling and also... Um, conventional bales. Right, so we have this on the back, it needs to go away into one of these sheds. This is pretty much empty. So I'll put this in here first and then obviously we'll run over to the Land Rover and uh, hitch onto the trailer and drive over to the field. But it is very important I do work on the animals straight away as even their water is almost empty. At the moment, they're fine. And when I say fine, I mean they have like a few litres. In fact, the sheep have just emptied their trough. That minute. So yes, they do need to be done straight away. Where shall I put the tractor? Um, I don't know. There might be space around here for it. Put it here just in case we need to get some hay bales out, which we might do. There. 
Right, out of the tractor we get, and we run over to the Merlot and the Land Rover. I think Land Rover first. Um, as a few people did suggest, putting the trailer in here is a good idea, and it is, you're right, it's a very good idea. Keeps it out of the way. Kind of rushing here. I don't want to make the grass bales get wet in the rain. I think we're going to have to run back to the Merlot. Although, it is only here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll jump out. We'll get the Merlot set up too. Where's my grab? I've put my grab somewhere. Uh, I have seen it. I have seen the grab. Did I put it in here? No, I didn't. In that case, I must have put it over near the workshop. It's the only other place for it. We've already used half a tank of diesel in the Merlot. That's incredible. 2.8 hours. Yeah, so it should be around the corner. There it is, yeah. In the workshop. Now, clearly it isn't a, a round bale grab, but actually it does work very well. So I'm going to use it anyway. So I'll get it set up, and then we can uh, have it following us. Okay, it's following the Matty Ferguson. There we go. Much better. Time to drive the fantastic Land Rover. As many people have quite rightly pointed out, the trailer, I think, does have ramps. Um, I have used the ramps before, actually, in a previous series. I used them on uh, Challington Farm. So I was already aware of them. It's just I had forgotten the control. So thank you to everybody who pointed that out. Very helpful. Right, so I'm only going for the grass bales to begin with. There's no rush for the silage bales. They're busy fermenting. How many grass bales are there? I thought it was about five. Okay, clearly there is more than five. There's five there, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's good. Obviously we won't get eight in the trailer. They're still pretty heavy, but we'll get a few in. Now which one is the control? There we go. So we'll put that side down. Control F5 apparently is for the ramps. Or Alt F5. Yeah, Alt F5. So then you can press 8 to put the tailgate down too. And if you do it in the right order, of course, it will work very effectively. But if you can put the ramps down first, not so well. That was slick. I'll try and do it a bit better this time. Okay, so here goes. That's better. They do go through the tailgates, but it really doesn't matter. That's how you do it. But of course, we don't need the ramps today, so they can stay inside. And when they're back away, I'll put the, uh, the back up. Brilliant. Okay. Jump out of here. Interesting. Hmm. The texture is flickering... That's only done that recently. Maybe there is a conflict with another mod. I'm not entirely sure. Um, well, if Virtual Farmer is watching, I'm sure he'll know. The rims keep turning black. Anyway. They're back to normal. There they are. They keep flickering. Oh, well. Right, okay. So if we press uh, X on here, we can start to pick them up. I can use the grab as well. This is probably the best way to load them, actually. We don't want too much weight on the A-frame. But I think, really, we're just going to have to load them like this. Good. Yeah, so if we can get two side by side, I don't... No, we can't. Okay, so we're going to have to get about three in there, I'd have thought. 
Just three. But three is better than none. The rain is moving in. It's about to chuck it down. Here's the next one. I wonder if it matters. I wonder how much it matters if the grass bells get wet. I would have thought it is fairly detrimental as they start to rot. I should have brought the Richard Weston trailer actually, but it is still fun to use this one. Okay, that's two. Here's the rain. Lovely. Here it is. Hopefully I can get three in. We'll feed them straight away. What I could do is move the rest of them to under a tree. That might work. I knew the rain was coming, but yeah, you just never expect it to come so fast. And there we go, quite a delivery. So that's going to be quite heavy as well, but I think the mighty Land Rover will be okay. We shall see. Yep, no problem at all. If only it wasn't raining though. Horrible weather. Well before we go, I'm just going to put these under a tree, or a bush. Um, as I'm sure we can try and keep them a bit drier than what they would be in the middle of the field. The issue is trying to find a tree. There's tons of... ah, there we go, perfect. Really good. Very good canopy underneath this one. Or over the top of this one. That'll do nicely. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe keeping them that way is better because then the water can run off them. Okay, so I don't think there's too many more. Maybe two. We'll just roughly put them over here. How many more? Just two more, we'll put under this tree as well. And then at least we can say that we have tried to keep them dry. Okay, there we go. Quite a mess. So, uh, we're going to have to have the Merlot as well to unload. And we need to have the water tanker for the water. But, as we can't really do anything except for spraying this rain anyway, there is no rush. And I don't want to do spraying in the rain. It's just because there isn't really an option. It needs doing today. And it just happens to be raining. How's it coping? Yep, yeah, those bells aren't going anywhere. Very stable. Such a good trailer. A big trailer too. We probably could get away with just driving past the feed trough and it would probably just consume the bales. But that isn't really the approach I'm looking at taking today. I prefer to do it by loading it up with the Merlot. So I'll take it up here as far as I can go. And then, yep, yeah, now we're here have to stop and I think we'll just leave it here I can unload the bells for the sheep from here too now I'm pretty sure the grass bells go in the same trough as all the other food just over here so if I open the gate I'm hoping just to drop it in it should be empty yep sorry cows we have been neglecting you we've been super busy very busy with the silaging. Let's see if I can get two. Oh, 
if I can grab them, we should be able to get two. What appears to be is uh, tilted as I can do it. We'll hope for the best. Okay, so we have 8,000, pretty much 8,000 litres of grass here. Enjoy cows. They've taken only one. Well, that's good enough. Uh, they can have, the sheep can have the other one. Which means we are still left with one and the rain has stopped. In that case, I think we will go back to the field and get the remaining grass bales and put them under cover. The silage bales, like I say, can stay where they are. Because they can't even get wet. They're nicely wrapped by the McHale um, silage bale wrapper. Or bale wrapper. By CD Models. Another one of his fabulous mods. Hello, sheep. I mustn't forget to shut the gate for the cows. Sheep, we have a delivery for you. We have water as well, soon. Maybe they've been living off the rain which has been falling on the grass. Ah, uh, that's your water trough. They do already have some food. But now they have even more. Good. So, yeah, the, uh, the grass is done. The sheep are very easy to look after, actually. We do need to give the cows a hay bale. I could do that straight away. And then, providing we can hitch the Merlot to the water tanker, we can uh, take that around the two farms as well, and uh, give them both water. My hay bales are back here, aren't they? The wool pallet will need moving too, very soon. Now I'm just trying to think, how many bales do they usually take? I think they take... Oh, let me just see. I think they take one, but knowing me, if I take one, you'll need two. All we can do is try it. Very impressed that the rain was only a short shower. It could have been much worse. And the forecast is now for sunshine, so it's not coming back. It's going to be sunny for the rest of today. Okay, cows, another delivery for you. There you go. Okay, so they did need a tiny bit more. I suppose if I had given them two, it would have boosted it to about, I don't know, 10,000, 12,000 litres or something. So, yeah, it, they could have done. But we have plenty more in storage. Just as long as I don't forget to give it to them, they'll be fine. Oh, good. It does hitch on, but we're empty. Just 13% in it. Luckily, the water fill point is just over here. It's going to be expensive. I could fill it from a river. If we have a river. Hmm, don't think we do. Well, it's alright. We're going to be getting plenty of money in soon anyway. As we're facing this direction, we'll go to the sheep first, get them sorted out, and then come back and do the cows. And then it will be just a case of moving those bales and finally doing the spraying. We'll finish off with the spraying, as that would be uh, quite a big job. <laughs> it isn't half heavy though when it's full. They're going to take quite a bit of water. In fact, they're going to take 70%. Wow. But I suppose we do have 103 sheep. I think this is actually going to turn into a, a sheep farm primarily. Just because we have so many. We could actually buy some more very soon. To get tons of wool. It could just be a wool selling farm. I am actually really looking forward to selling the wool for the first time. Because we're going to have so much. And we should probably take the spike off that 
Actually, no, no, we, we better not. We'll only have to put it back on again. But yeah, I mustn't forget to take the spike off eventually. Really, we shouldn't be driving down any road with a spike. And because the sheep have very rudely taken more than their fair share, we're going to have to top up. Good job, it's a fast filler. The Merlot seems more than capable with uh, towing such a heavy tanker. If it's, say it was a kilogram per litre of water, that is at least 10 tonnes plus the Bowser itself. So not light at all. It turns out we would have been left with 1% if we hadn't filled up. So we did have enough. Just. Here come the cows. They've seen the food. Things should be looking much healthier now though. Look at that. Much better. They just need power food. Which I'm working on. That's why we've put the silage in the pit. So we can get a more precise measurement. And my mouse won't move. Uh, that's weird. And now it's fixed. I don't know what was going on there. So, yeah, we have one bow to take out of the trailer first. I think we're just going to uh, load up the remainder. We could actually put the remainder on the spike, as there won't be enough space in the trailer. Where should we put them? I think, well, I have already designated a barn just for bales, so I could just put it around the corner here. Or we could sell them, but that would be a uh, very silly idea, as we only have a few. Ah, perfect, we'll put them in here. Right, well, I think we're going to have to go now. So, uh, before I do go, I should probably just mention uh, the Lama Show in the UK, which was, was supposed to be yesterday and the day before. First day, from what I can tell, was a great success. Second day was cancelled due to the wind. Um, so, yeah, post down below if you uh, were going to go on the Thursday. And it turned out that it was just way too... Uh, well... It was shut in the end, like I say, but way too windy for you. Uh, which I'm sure was uh, a great shame for a lot of people, because... I, I know it's a show which gets a lot of visitors, and... Some people really do travel a long way to go there, so... To find out that it was actually cancelled... Was uh, a great blow. I know Stocker Glaws was going to go. Another YouTuber, on the Thursday. So I don't know what happened with him, but... Yeah, disappointing really, but you can't help these things. It's the weather. Health and safety has to take priority. But yeah, hopefully next year it'll be uh, a bit better. Because it's going to be in the NEC, I think. So it'll all be undercover, from what I can gather. Well, that's a screenshot and a half. Very good view. Loading the bales, and this time I haven't actually put them the other way around because it isn't really necessary as far as I can see. Um, yeah, it probably stops them from rolling, but if we strap them anyway, it's not really necessary. But I'll continue off screen loading it up, and who knows, we might be able to get a second layer, as crazy as it sounds. Straight over the top. Let's just hope that one goes in one groove and the other goes in the other. Not one goes flying off the back. We'll soon find out. You wouldn't look at that and say, oh, it's safe. Well, I certainly wouldn't. But with some good straps, they're not going anywhere. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so to finish off this job, we need to go and put these in a barn. 
And then as it is five to five already, unbelievably, we're gonna have to go and do the spring because tomorrow is the autumn, believe it or not. We're gonna have to go really steady with this load. And yes, don't worry, the rest of the bales, all the silage bales, will be moved with the agricultural trailer instead. This is just for a bit of fun. Not that it isn't all for a bit of fun. It's just this is kind of pushing it with this thing. Um, almost encroaching to the the unrealistic side of things again. Not something I should really be doing on this series. But who cares? suppose what we could do is put some kind of, well the bale storage actually, the bale storage mod up in field number 51. Oh please tell me I got the number right. 50! Crying out loud, I got it wrong. Um, yes, because there is the, the same thing as the pallet storage, which would be very useful. I'm not going to unload these now, I'm just going to keep them on here, because we really do have to crack on, just as long as they're under cover and uh, it'll be fine. And here we are in the class Aryan. So I've just loaded it up with a bit more liquid fertilizer, 741 pounds worth, uh, which was actually only about 15% or something, not even that, 13%. Liquid fertilizer is very expensive, but it must be done. We must go and do it, urgently. The time will be back at times 15, so it'll be dark very soon. Let's just get the job done and then tomorrow we'll be able to uh, focus on autumn work which believe it or not is actually combine harvesting and uh, yes thank you again to other people who have mentioned that you can update seasons without having to start a new save game um, not trying it but if everybody else says that is true then it must be so I'll have to update very soon that is our pig farm I think yes it is we'll have to start doing some work there because I haven't done anything at all in that yard it's as if we don't even own it. So I must start very soon. But I'm just trying to get all the arable stuff out of the way. I would say the winter time would be a perfect opportunity to get some pigs. And then to start buying pig food in bulk. Instead of having to get all the different ingredients. But this is going to have to be another time lapse. So from now onwards it's all going to be increased in speed. But I'll definitely come back at the end of the video and say goodbye and stuff from my usual line of bye for now. No, it's okay. I didn't say bye for now. We're continuing. See you in a second. Looking good. Well, there's a few pieces missed here and there, but you can't have everything, so that's going to have to do. So yes, um, I think we'll have, what's going to have to happen when we have some more fields is what I said at the beginning of the series. We'll only be able to fertilise each field once because it would just be continually fertilising. We'd never get anything else done. So yeah, although it would be not as realistic, it, it's just the practical way of doing stuff. So that is my solution to that. Otherwise, I think things are going pretty well overall. Um, obviously, it's totally dark now, so we need to just get back to the yard. But as soon as we're back, it'll be bedtime and, in fact, the end of the episode. But again, I think it has been quite a productive episode. More so than what they used to be. I do think that I get more done 
uh, in these videos than I used to do. But obviously it's up to you to decide. I think I'm right, but hopefully you agree. In fact, that's a good question. Do I get more done now, or like a few months ago, before I did the realistic sort of series? I feel to get more done, so hopefully that is true. That's the turning for us. So next time, what we're going to have to do is begin the harvest. All the fields will be ready. All the arable fields. Uh, I do want to get it done fairly quickly, because obviously we have to get the baling done for the wheat field, and we need to get the silage bells sorted out. Plus we need to do an extra cut, if we can do, with the grass. All will be done in autumn, because as soon as the winter turns up, we're going to be doing nothing, pretty much. Um, in fact, in the autumn, we should really be planting the oilseed rape as well, for the following year. So it is a busy time, very busy, as it is in real life. But yeah, as soon as the winter comes, it's just like nothing. You're trying to find jobs to do. But I'm sure we'll stay busy. Whether it's a bit of forestry or, I don't know, buying a grass field and doing something with that, there'll always be something to do. And of course we have the animals too. The sheep are very productive at the moment so hopefully in the winter time we're going to have a good price for wool uh, the cows just are going to have to be generally maintained a lot over the winter and if we get some pigs then yeah they're also going to require a lot of uh, maintenance but I really don't know about pigs at this stage I don't know if it's worth it it might be better investing in the sheep or even the cows I think these are the only barns which are actually going to be big enough to cater to the sprayer because all the others are pretty small. So we'll reverse the whole thing in and just leave it all in here overnight. Let's pull forward. Mind the door. Okay, so that should do. So thank you for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.